Hey everybody, my name is Mike Hermes. Welcome back to the channel and welcome to the next video in the How to Become a Freelance 3D Artist series. Now, this video is going to be about advertisement and marketing and public relations and personal branding. So even if you're not a 3D artist, this might still be applicable, okay? All right, so um, we got a lot to cover. I have my uh, cheat sheet here uh, as per usual. And uh, yeah, let's jump in. All right, so to begin with, what is advertisement, marketing, public relations, and personal branding? Well, basically all of it is communication. What you're doing is you're communicating to an audience or a potential client, right, about products and services and you as an individual, right? But there are a lot of differences in the meanings of what they are, and they are used incorrectly all the time. So let's just quickly run through those, right? Okay, so um, advertisement and marketing, these two are kind of in the same category because both of them are kind of a one-way communication street, right? You're sending out a message and they're also typically paid for and they're aimed at sales. So if you take out an ad, let's say you uh, pay a thousand bucks for an ad space in a magazine or you know TV channel, or whatever. And the idea here is that people see it and buy your stuff. So there's usually an ROI involved, a return on investment. You paid a thousand bucks for the ad, you hope you sell for more than a thousand bucks, otherwise you're losing money, right? So that's the ad part. So let's park that for a second. Okay, second one is marketing. Now, marketing is also focused on sales. It's also paid for, um, similar to advertisement, but the approach is a bit different. Uh, marketing is more towards how to prepare a, a product or a service for the marketplace. I'll give you an example. Let's say you manufacture ice cream and you came up with this awesome new flavor, which is uh, peanut butter and uh, pickle ice cream, right? Now, you think this is the new big thing and what you're going to do is you're going to hire a bunch of people to go out in the street and offer samples to people walking down the street, right? and kind of ask their opinion. The thing is, um, based on the outcome of that research, you kind of know whether you should start production, whether you should do uh, advertisements or not, because maybe, just maybe, people think it's disgusting, right? So that would be more like a marketing approach. But again, it would be uh, an effort that is paid for. It is, you know, basically focused on the sales process and you hope it's going to generate money. Okay, now these two, let's park them for a minute. So the next category is public relations and personal branding is kind of part of that. Public relations is exactly what you think it is. It is the relationship you have with the public, with potential clients, with existing clients and so forth. So uh, what I mean by that is you as an individual, your company, your product, your service, right? People have an opinion about you. I'll give you an idea here. If I say Paris Hilton or Kim Kardashian, you're probably going to have this image in your head. Oh, that's so-and-so. And I know that person because of so-and-so. And my uh, image of them is positive or negative. So that is kind of a personal brand. Now, some of it is organically. Some of it is carefully created. To give you another example, um, People vote for politicians based on what they see on TV, right? Now, do you really think you know that politician? No, it's an image that has been created by basically image makers, right? And based on that image, you feel you can trust that person or not. And based on that trust, you decide to vote on them or not. Now, that whole concept is more important than ever because we are now in an influencer world. We all know about you know YouTube and other social media platforms, Instagram and whatnot. And what happened nowadays is because people are so distrustful of ads, more than 80% of the people do not trust ads, right? What they do is they focus more on influencers. If you have been following a channel on YouTube about, I don't know, makeup, whatever, and you've been following that channel forever and the girl uh, that's uh, running that channel, let's say her name is Linda, you think she's awesome and humorous or whatever. If she says you need to buy a certain lipstick, you probably will because you trust her opinion, right? 
that's influencer marketing. Now, what we basically are saying here is you want a piece of that as a 3D artist. You don't necessarily have to become a YouTuber, but you need to create an image. And I wouldn't, I would use the word create carefully because um, why would you want to develop a personal brand? You want to emphasize your strong points. You don't want to fake them, right? I mean, you have to be honest and you have to be, you know, trustworthy. If you are going to kind of create a persona or an image that's fake, that will hurt you in the long run. Absolutely, 100%. I know a guy who uh, basically faked his resume to get uh, into a show on the Discovery Channel. Been doing that for two seasons. It came out that he lied on his resume, got fired from the show, basically almost lost his business, right? And uh, you don't want to play act a certain image because you're not going to be able to maintain that anyway, right? So just be honest and be truthful. But it is a way to emphasize your strong points, like I said, right? Okay. Now, uh, how do you do that? Well, what is that personal brand? That personal brand is a mix of your conduct, your clothing, your uh, way of communicating, uh, the, everything about you, basically, right? Now, you know what your strong points are, probably, but even better, ask somebody else, because we tend to kind of be a little bit too positive about ourselves, right? Or too negative. So ask somebody else, what are your strong points? You need to emphasize the strong points that are relevant to your business. I mean, the fact that you're a great runner is nice, but it's not relevant to your work as a 3D artist, right? So what kind of things are the fact that you're punctual, the fact that you're very skilled, the fact that you deliver quality, the fact that you're a good communicator, the fact that you uh, provide great input in that whole process, all of these things add value to your client. So you want to create a reputation that these are the things you do, right? Now, when it comes to online, people seem to think a potential client is not going to Google you. Well, trust me, they will, right? Uh, I mean, if you went out last weekend and you got, you know, completely wasted and you're uh, puking in the middle of the street, whatever, and people, you know, put that online, trust me, they'll find it. That's not the reputation you want. Now, the thing is this, though, you need to focus on uh, your target audience. I mean, if you if your audience is, you know, the whole banking world, for example, you don't want to come across as um, a guitar player in a metal band. Right. Uh, so keep that in mind. It has to be relevant to your audience. Now, is the audience for every 3D artist the same? No. Maybe you're an animator specialized in medical simulations. That could be a thing, right? Maybe you're a prop modeler for the toy industry. That can be a thing as well. Very different. So be careful in how you construct that, all right? Now, let's see if I missed anything here. Okay, so we talked about why you should, because you can emphasize your strong points, right? How to do it. Well, first you need to have a good image of what you want to be or who you want to be, right? within the realm of being honest, right? Don't fake it. And what you want to do is consistently send out that, that message in every opportunity you have online, offline, wherever you are, always be aware, right? Um, next to that, create a logo that's relevant, that's recognizable. And that logo uh, has to be everywhere, uh, on business cards if you use that, on your website, on your social media, anywhere and everywhere, right? Now, obviously you need a good portfolio, but this is your personal brand. So I would uh, advise to create a strong LinkedIn page, right? Start building your network there, be part of relevant um, Facebook pages, groups, or maybe groups on LinkedIn, where you participate in these groups to build that image, right? So hopefully this clarifies a little bit what personal branding is. It has to be consistent. Always, always, always be consistent. And more importantly than anything, be honest, right? Be honest, be honest, be honest. Don't lie because you will carefully spend years investing in your personal brand. And if it comes out you've been lying, then you basically destroy everything. So just be yourself, 
be personal, be approachable, and be honest, okay? Uh, yeah, hopefully that helps. Uh, let me know in the comments. Let me know if you got any questions about any future videos in this series. And that said, as always, thank you so much for watching. See you guys next time. Bye.